New developments tonight in the four-week search for a missing Northland baby. Hours ago, a family member was questioned by police. And a new local attorney was named in the case. KMBC 9's Peggy Bright is live with the story. Peggy? Well, Laura, this is the home where Lisa's family has spent almost all of their time since Lisa vanished, although they're not here tonight. You can see some new signs have gone up. It's the home of Lisa's Uncle Phil, the brother of Lisa's mom, Debbie Bradley. Today, Phil was once again questioned by investigators in the case. Phil was with Debbie the night before Lisa disappeared. They went to a store together where Debbie bought, among other things, a box of wine. Lisa's dad, Jeremy Irwin, was back at the house that October 3rd evening with Lisa and her older brothers. Sources close to the case tell us Jeremy left the house around 5.30 to go to an overtime electrician job. Debbie stayed at the house and drank wine all evening with her neighbor. The last time Lisa was reported seen was around 6.30 by the neighbor's young daughter. Debbie believes she checked on Lisa around 10.30 that night when she went to bed with the boys. Jeremy returned home at 4 in the morning and Lisa was gone. Police tell us tonight that they questioned Phil today and that it was voluntary. It lasted less than two hours. The older boys were questioned by specialists the day Lisa vanished. Another session with forensic interviewers was scheduled for last week but was postponed and is expected to be rescheduled sometime soon. Now, the Irwin's New York lawyer won't say exactly when those boys will be requestioned, but he did make another announcement today, the addition of a new Kansas City lawyer. He's criminal defense attorney John Piserno. We'll tell you about him and his background coming up on our news at 6. We're live at Vivian in North Walrond. Back to you in the studio. Peggy, thank you. And sources tell us Debbie Bradley admits she was drunk the night Lisa disappeared. She does not recall leaving the door unlocked and lights on, which is how Jeremy found the house when he arrived home around 4 in the morning. Surveillance cameras do verify Jeremy was at work all night.